Hey everyone, I'm Sean Scott for DLAT Industrial. Today we're going to show you how to wire a DLAT submersible electric sump pump and show you how it works. Submersible sump pumps are commonly used in plumbing applications. A typical application that anyone can use them for is to act as a sump pump solution to keep water levels from rising in your house during emergencies. In this tutorial, we're using DLAT SKU number D1156382, which is an all-in-one pump as well as a hose and clamp that are used to release the pumped water. We're gonna demonstrate the way it works using two clear containers, one of them being filled with water to replicate rising water levels. For this demonstration, we are not gonna be concerned with height head and flow rate. We're gonna simply show you how easy these can be installed and how they work. I've attached a hose to the pump's outlet, so you're gonna want a hose that matches the outlet size or is very close. Otherwise, the pump simply will not be very efficient. We're using a simple metal clamp to make sure the hose is secure. When you're using a pump in most situations, you'll wanna attach a check valve as well. What this does is it allows the water to flow away from the pump with little resistance, but then does not allow the water to flow backwards and apply pressure towards the pump. This can cause the impeller to spin backwards and can result in damage to your pump motor. Now we're gonna plug in the pump to a power source and place it in our container. In real life, you'll wanna dig out a sump pit that is two feet deep and at least 18 inches wide so that your pump has enough room to sit squarely at the bottom. Then you'll attach your hose or pipe to discharge the pumped water out to the exterior of your home, most likely by a hole in your basement wall. You will notice when there is no water, the pump's float switch is this yellow and blue device located at the end of this cord. As we fill the container with water, the float will start to rise. Once the water reaches a level where the float switch is raised enough, the pump will be activated and start pumping the water out until the float switch is back to a safe level. DLAT sells a variety of submersible pumps that have a range of pumping capacity, determined by horsepower resulting in different flow at different head heights. Head height being the depth of which your pump is installed and flow being the gallons per minute or meters cubed per hour that can be output at that height. You can find the head height or flow chart on the product page. They're in simple PDF formats, will help you determine if the submersible pump is suitable for your application. Look for more how-to videos on submersible pumps and many other items on DLAT.com.